Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Dear students, in the last lecture, we had discussed about evidences of evolution. And today, in this video, I am going to discuss the further topic of this chapter, that is, Darwin's theory of natural selection, second, Lamarckism, third, speciation, fourth, human evolution. So these are the four topics which we are going to cover today and inshallah we will finish this chapter as well. So let us start with the first topic of the today's lecture that is Darwin's theory of natural selection. So the scientist called as Charles Darwin gave his theory about natural selection and he said that the organisms got evolved from the changes which had occurred in them that is the formation of new species from the earlier one and those modifications came in their body which led to the further ongoing generation. He used the word in his theory prophically which means those organisms which were able to produce the young one in the large number were able to continue their generation. And he said that nature selected those organisms which could fit in there and in those conditions that is the survival of the fittest and the rest who cannot survive in those conditions got perish. But this theory also faced some objections. Objections like how the new, uh, how the changes was not able to explain by the Darwin's theory. Okay, then how some modification occurred in some organism. So this was some natural uh, objections which were faced by Darwin's theory and Darwin could not explain them. There came the second theory of Lamarck, the scientist called as Lamarck and his theory is called as Lamarckism. Lamarck said that some modifications, morphological modifications which came in the organism, whether it's plants or animals and to explain his theory, he gave the example of giraffe. He said the long neck of the giraffe is due to the absence of short plants and then this giraffe started to raise their neck. They started to stretch their neck to in order to reach the leaves of the tall plants of the trees and thereby the stretching of the neck started became modification in their body, morphological modifications in their body and this trait or the genetic trait go on passing from one generation to another generation and that is why now the giraffe have long necks. Okay. Another example which he gave in his theory was of iron smith. That iron smith have strong shoulders. It's because of they keep on hammering. Okay, continuously they hammer the iron. That's why they have strong shoulders. Other example which he gave was of uh, emu or the ostrich. Why do they have wings? But those wings are of no use. Uh, the wings are weak. It is because of they have stopped using those their organ weak, and that, that's why they became weak. So according to Lamarck, the modifications which are seen in the new generation is because of the acquired characters. Okay, they have acquired some characters and they have stopped using some organs. So it is because of the activeness or the laziness of the organism because of which certain organs in the body became useless to them. So this Lamarck theory was given by the Lamarck and it's called as Lamarckism. But again this Lamarck theory got disapproved, they got rejected and so on, some further scientists, they have objected to its theory. Next topic, topic number three, which we have to discuss is speciation. The speciation theory or the speciation point which says that the species which are derived or the evolved is because of the new characters which are seen in them. Okay, the genetic variations which occurred from one generation to another generation led to the formation of new, new species. And again, environment plays a very important role in this. Environmental factors are more responsible for this transfer of characters. Geographical conditions of those particular area also led to the formation of new, new species. Okay, and those organisms which were able to reproduce, as per this genetic modifications, those were able to survive and are seen in our biodiversity. The fourth topic which we have to discuss is human evolution. So human evolution which occurred long back as per the theory 
it was about seven thousand seven crores years ago okay when the dinosaurs were disappeared then the monkey like lemurs were observed before seven crores years ago and later on this monkey or lemur like organism the tail got disappeared around 4000 crores years ago and from them this human evolution took place which can be seen in the given uh, example in the given table you can see that the lemur which is shown around ancient animals like lemur around 7 crores years ago and from them that there was development to egyptopithecus that was around 4000 years ago and from this egyptopithecus dryopithecus organisms like they got developed around 2 crore 50 50 lakh years ago and then ramapithecus around 1 crore years ago australopithecus around 40 lakh years ago skin humans around 20 lakh years ago and then man with erect posture around 15 lakh years ago and then neanderthal man around 1 lakh 50000 years ago and then the most developed one cro-magnon man around 50000 years ago so first recorded human like animal which was found in the form of ramapithecus ape from east africa and afterwards this ape grown up in size and became more intelligent and thus the ape of south africa about evolved about 40 lakh years ago the morphology of this human like animal started to appear like to the member of the genus homo about 20 lakh years ago and thus skin human developed about 15 lakh years ago human walking with erect posture was evolved it may have existed in china and indonesia of asian continent so evolution of uh, upright man continued in the direction of developing its brain for the period of about 1 lakh years and meanwhile it discovered the fire brain of 50000 year old man have been sufficiently evolved to extend that it could be considered as member of the class wise man homo sapiens neanderthal man can be considered the first example of wise man the cro-magnon man evolved about 50000 years ago and afterwards this evolution had been faster than the earlier about 10000 years ago wise men started to practice the agriculture it started to rear the cattle herds and establish the cities cultural development took place art of writing was invented about 5000 years ago and thus the history had been started modern science emerged about 400 years ago and industrial society was developed about 200 years ago and now we have reached at this stage and still we are searching the details of roots of human ancestry so today's lecture in our today's video lecture we have finished with the four topic the last four topic of this chapter that is darwin's theory of natural selection lamarckism speciation and human evolution so here we have finished with, uh, with this chapter called as heredity and evolution inshallah in the next session we'll discuss the further chapter second chapter of science to inshallah we we'll meet then do well all the best assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh